Well, it's an unbelievable week, you know, with Super Bowl being here in South Florida, for us to be able to put a special event together with the Port of Palm Beach, the uh, Bahama Cruise Line, and the City of Rivera Beach. Just wanted to come back and inspire our youth, bring our community together, because Riviera Beach is such a beautiful city, and we want to make sure that we stay in line and, 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 and celebrating our city. I wanted to bring these young people together with some of our former athletes and current athletes, get a chance to hear their stories and what made them become successful. And just like them, they're right here from Riviera Beach, and they can accomplish the same goals we have. I tell a lot of young kids that you can be as good as you want to be, but if you don't have the grades to go along with it, you're going to be a guy that's stuck here and you say that same story that everybody else said, I used to, I wish I could have. And you don't want to be that guy. So we all the athletes and we're elite athletes. You have a work ethic, none, second to none. Use that same athlete uh, mentality that you have on the field and use it in the classroom. And tell you this, sit in the front of the class. As athletes, we have a stigma. Uh, we want to sit in the back of the class, we want to be class clowns. But let your teachers know that you're here and you care about what you want to do about your education because that makes a difference. People will take the time to teach you something if you're willing to learn. And if you show them that you're willing to learn and you're not the average athlete, you're not the, the typical uh, status quo uh, and just a job, make sure that you do what you need to do and show yourself worthy in the classrooms. I was one of those guys that I got done with my homework first. And my teacher would say, go, go ask the one. I became the teacher's pet in a sense and a, a teacher's aide because in my honors classes, I would be one of the first ones done. And I used to help my, my classmates out and they respected me. And they was like, Dewan, you, you know, you're a, you're a great quarterback, you a great athlete, but you take academics serious. And a lot of kids look up to me because of that. And I wasn't afraid to be different. I wasn't afraid to set the mold, set the bar high because I had a younger brother under me and I wanted to show him the way that he should take it. And I wanted to make sure that academics was never gonna be the reason that stopped me. So I would say to you guys, make sure you take that serious, take your work at it on and off the field and in the classroom and keep God first and success is, is, is all you have. These kids did an unbelievable job. And the, and the thing that they get that I didn't have, they have these guys that are right here in Palm Beach County that are able to lend their hand and lend the support. Um, so that's what we wanna kinda continue to do, plant seeds in these young individuals and give them opportunity to grow.